during the World War II, okay, 39 to 45, contracted various parasitic infections. The prisoners that is being talked about who are forced to work in the infamous Thai Burma Railway project and the tropical jungle there in the Burma, Myanmar. They provided the perfect condition development of an infective stage of a parasite, larvae, which have infected these prisoners of wards through the soles of their poorly short feet as they worked. And they want to ask uh, which particular worm have done that. So guys, in these particular patients who have this chronic infection of this particular worm, they have not told what it is. On a chronic corticosteroid therapy, a syndrome can occur which results in a high mortality rate. Okay, the organism is. So guys answer is strongly stercoralis and the syndrome they are talking about in the question is hyper infection syndrome okay and this hyper infection syndrome happens due to the massive auto infection and how you remember that auto infection happens here you can remember by that particular mnemonic chest okay in that the s is strongly stercoralis so this hyper infection syndrome said to be very common in hiv positive or immunocompromised individuals or immunodeficient individuals they tend to develop up this particular hyper infection syndrome in which the cns and the visceral involvement happens up and there is a very high mortality okay another important thing is that the strongest turcoralis you need to know that it is ovoviparous the eggs are laid out but they are never seen because they hatch out into the larvae immediately Okay, so that is what is termed as what ovoviviparous, and they have a unique type of development that is termed as parthenogenetic development. Okay, what they have, they have a parthenogenetic development, and what is parthenogenetic development? That the females they directly lays the eggs without the males, and this is termed as what parthenogenesis or parthenogenetic development of this strongly turcoralis. Okay, now remember in this. The auto infection happens up, hyper infection syndrome happens up if it is a massive one. OV parasitis, it is pathogenesis, pathogenetic development happens to be in this particular one. So, all these likely questions are there regarding the strongly circularis. And what do you use, guys, for this particular treatment? You are using up ivermectin. Okay, what you are using up? Ivermectin is used, which was like uh, just now we have used it for the uh, coronavirus infection also that is the covid one covid 19 we have uh, a significant role of ivermectin there not properly like proved up but yes some studies do show the results of ivermectin are good in some patients okay besides that strongest turcoralis which other worm is also having the drug of choice this one that is the onco circa volvilis okay that is also having this particular drug ivermectin as a drug of choice fine now this i have already told them. Right. Now, coming to the another question, a patient is a 40 year old man with fever, myalgia and facial swelling. The white blood cell count of 14,400 with 24% eosinophils. The additional history reveals that he shot a beer in the Canada. Okay, not that beer. In Hindi called Bhalu and ate some of it about 6 weeks ago. He emphasized that he likes his meat rare. Okay, basically, a rare meat it is. So, he liked a muscle biopsy was performed and the H and E stain of the tissue showed coiled larvae within the skeletal muscle. What they showed up? A coiled larvae within the skeletal muscle of the following, which one are the most likely cause? Okay, Encarostoma canidum, Anisicus complex, okay, Nicator americanus or Trichinella spiralis. So, answer to this particular question is Trichinella spiralis which is a viviparous organism okay there is no eggs directly larvae and happens to be mostly eating of what infected pork okay contaminated with this and it is termed as what muscle worm okay generally it happens by eating of the infected pork but in this question what is being written of that you have eaten of the meat of this particular beer which you have shot up in the Canada. Okay, so that must be suffering from this particular Trichinella spiralis infection, and uh, that is being eaten off. Okay, the larval form is there in the muscles of that particular beer. So infected pork, that is what is the most common association. But yes, with that particular one also, this infection can happen. That is of the Trichinella spiralis muscle.